Hey people, so I'm sure by now you guys have been following all of the updates when it comes to Mackerel um, and Kizzy Dunn. Mackerel, as you know, received a car as compensation for the accident that basically Kizzy Dunn was uh, blamed as causing, right? She has since upgraded her car. She's got herself a nice new car in exchange for the one that Kizzy Dunn gave her. Remember that Mackerel also received quite a lot of contributions on TikTok towards a car. So it's great to see that Mackerel has used this in the appropriate way. She's upgraded it and she's gone away with an even better car than what she had before. However, the situation has kind of evolved because despite the fact that Kizzy Dunn has made this fantastic move, it seems to me that the comments that are taking place on social media towards Kizzy Dunn is causing a negative effect. Now, I am going to say this. A lot of these, these influencers, these people on social media who have platforms and a large following are under certain amounts of pressure when it comes to their personality and and being liked and some people really take it to heart and it looked like say kizzy i take it to heart i want you to listen to what sonia who is her hairdresser had to say about what kizzy is going through because it not sound good all right when mackerel came on live i was sleeping you know kizzy called me and wake me up crying she said Sonia Mercury Lipan Live a cry. I said, What happened? She said, um, She had cried and make it look like she crushed the car. It, so, it come like she crushed the car with spite and people in the comments and it is so messy. I'm going to wake up and wash my face and I'm going to look. I was so, 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 so out of it. Like, my, like my feel my soul left my body because I said, Oh, it reached here. So, like, how it reached here, so anyways, he said she don't know what she going to do because the whole nation tumbling on her and it's like she feel like she going to do. He said to Kizzy, I said, Kizzy, if I tell them to send you the chassis number and buy back the other parts for the car and fix it back. She asked them, to, she called them, I was on the phone. She went to their door, knocked them up, and asked them, please, to send her the chassis number. Up till, up until now, them not send the chassis number. Kizzy was willing to fix the vehicle. I don't know what all of this, where all of this came from. I don't know where all of this came from. Say she never had an intention to fix the vehicle and blah, blah, blah. She was willing to fix the vehicle. The damage was, a mechanic went to the house the other day. He said it's about $150,000 to completely fix back the car. Nothing was wrong with the car. The car wasn't right off. There was no, no there is no, um, nothing about no transmission, no, nothing about nothing like that. $150,000, the mechanic said, to fix the car. Kitty said, okay. When she went under pressure, she said, oh, no, give me some time. May I feel pain? And me just feel dizzy like my head bungle up in a one. When the life start, when the, when the life start attack her, and start attack her, and start attack her, it start affect her, and it start affect her, and it start affect her. She start to say it better. She dead, dead, but she should dash it true. And I tell her to stop talk like that in the end of the world. It's just that p. It's just like. It's just that, it's just people, it's just humans, they just don't stay. They hop on what's trending, they don't know the real story, they just come and talk. And because of how Macril came and cry and react and says her first car and this and that. And that is a lie because Macril had a car which she bought from the official. She sold it when her baby father was going away. So when she came and she cried, crying and said, oh, my first car and this. And people pity her and people serve her and they start to kiss a bad man and this and that. And all that was just, it was never worth it. Like, and let me tell you this, Kizzy and Mackerel, there were more than TikTok. Um, with a Kali. Friends or associates are, there were more than TikTok buddies then. Let me put it like that. There were more than TikTok buddies. 
they were they were more than TikTok buddies, okay? So it's not like say over TikTok alone, then talk or this and that or they live far from each other. No. They live so close. They are actually neighbors. So when I see the attack, I mean I say at least if my critical is come ease her up, like come say something to the people and make them ease her up a little bit. Because it's depressing and she traumatized. Not before, not last night, she called me after two. She said I should stay on the phone with her. She just want to hear my voice. We we'll come over the phone after six. I live in Maypen, but I work in Mandeville. I'm going to come and work so early, I went to her apartment. So I'm going to go around there. When I, when I stop at work, please, I'm going to buy breakfast. I went straight to her apartment. I'm going to go knock her up and she let me in. She go back and go curl up. When she curl up, she curl up and she not, she not show her face and she not hide and she not do nothing. So I started to say, come talk to me. I said, come look for you. Talk to me, man. You make me, you make me not sleep. Let me stay on the phone with you. When I drag off the sheet off her head, kiss it trim herself. She trim herself, she cut off her whole her hair. She said, she start telling me what to do if nothing happened to her. And uh, it, Kizzy is not doing okay. I must feel so bad, like, because it just never worth it. It just never worth it, like. It's just crazy. Come here, say like if you see if you see them a drag or so, just come and pull her out a little bit, no, and just say something, no, just come beg people them to just ease her up, just ease her up, cause it's not the uh, everything we are saying is just lies and lies and. And I say she bad mind because of coins and it's just crazy. Like the whole like his skin black and blue, she just. I, I, I don't know. I can't believe that somebody really come just. Oh boy. I'm not going to say he's, he's not doing well, but I will not say in detail what is going on with her, but just know that Kizzy is not doing well. I am trying my best to just, you know, bring her up more, turn her spirit and. You know, it's not easy. She's traumatized. She's depressed. She, 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 she's just out of it. Like she, she said, if so much people want me to, I want to die. Said, Don't talk like that. Stop talking like that. I know it's a car. I know it's her car. I know she work hard for it. I know she buy it. It's just give thanks for life. It's just that it's just it, the accident never happened 24 hours, less than 24 hours, and it's just the demands and buy about this, fix about that, blah blah blah. And now she has to give me some time in a pain. So, people, as you can hear, Kizzy is really taking this really badly. Um, sounds to me that she is going through some kind of post-traumatic stress disorder which is a very common thing when somebody has actually gone through some kind of trauma right and i want you guys to understand that at the end of the day we know that social media can be a harsh place and public opinion the court of public opinion can be harsher than even regular court manali right we will come down and we will judge these people based on what they present and you know it, it's it is harsh it is not fair sometimes but as a social media personality you kind of have to have a broad back a strong backbone to deal with the kind of criticism that comes with being in the spotlight look at cmr and, and chrissy and what they go through all the time as a result of what happened in their relationship a big big a big big disaster in terms of dealing with what people think about you especially when you think it's not true you know and at the end of the day Kizzy is basically saying there are a lot of things floating around out there that isn't true about what took place with the accident um, and, and it's not a nice thing when people have misconceptions and you can't really do anything about them and people walk away with a negative impression of you. I thought it was brilliant that Kizzy turned around and purchased the car and it's important that for us on social media who are doing the blogging and presenting the information that we give you all the full sides of the story so that you can see that actually it may have started off not too right but it fixed up itself and the person did right by them. You understand? And Kizzy did do right by Mackerel and 
she stepped up and she presented her with a car which Mackerel got to upgrade. So um, I don't see why it is that people are still bashing Kizzy. I don't think that should be happening. Um, and right now, if you know that somebody is going through depression, it's really important that you uplift them and show some mercy, right? Those people who are in the comments writing up all kind of harsh things, just think about the fact that this girl probably is not as strong as she ought to be, despite the fact that she's a social media personality, right? Anyway, I wish Kizzy the best. Um, and I'm really hoping that Sonia and any friends around her and family can help to bring her out of her depression. But for here, so she cut off her ear and all of them something there. Jaja, that sound, that sound away. And it sounds like she really is going through a deep depression. Anyway, wish her all the best. Pray for her. This is your girl, Head Teacher K.